Hi, I'm Valerine. Come stick with me and learn some of my eats and treats recipes. Remember to subscribe now. So today's meal, I am prepping for dinner. And today's meal will consist of curry chicken feet, some basmati rice with lentils, and some steamed broccoli and carrots. Now, growing up on the island of Jamaica, Lots of people usually raise chicken, as we, as we would say, whether it is to sell, to get an income, or just for yourself, you would have a couple of chickens around the yard. And so whenever we kill the chicken, we would use as much of the chicken as possible. The most thing that would go out would be the guts and the feathers. And guess what? Even part of the guts, like the stomach lining, we would save and we would dry it out and use it sometimes to make tea whenever you're having like a stomach problem. So we use as much of the chicken as possible. And I'm going to show you how to prepare the chicken feet and to make a delicious meal from it. I have my chicken feet here all cleaned up. I have um, cut the nails off using a kitchen scissors and I have washed them. I have just left one with the nails so I can show you guys how I do it. So basically you just get a kitchen scissors, you get it as close as possible to the nail and you just cut it off. Usually we use a knife, put it on a cotton board and cut the nails off but I find it pretty easy and quick to use a kitchen knife so that's it another thing I should mention is that chicken feet usually come with a layer on top of it like a skin a yellow skin that goes that does not stay so when it's peeled back this is what the chicken feet look like and when you get it in the store you will get it peeled back just like we bought these from our local farmer and it came all peeled back just like this so there is no skin in it so that you don't have to worry about just get the nails off and wash them now i'm ready to season the chicken feet i have some chopped garlic and some onions some of them have been chopped some have been shredded so i'll go ahead and i'll dump my onions and garlic on the chicken feet and then my curry here is homemade curry the main ingredient in curry is turmeric so if you have turmeric, you're off to the races. I'll go ahead and I'll dump the curry in the bowl with everything else. I put my gloves on and I'm ready to just work the seasoning into the chicken feet. And normally we'd put the feet to sit for maybe a couple hours, three hours, um, just to for, for it to marinate. However, I don't have to marinate these because I'm using my slow cooker. I use my slow cooker for most curries and stews because I find that when you use the slow cooker, it cooks slowly and allows all the seasoning to be absorbed by whatever you're cooking. I didn't grow up with a slow cooker. I grew up with a pressure cooker. That's what most of us knew, right? Fast, get it done. Pressure that chicken feed. But I have a slow cooker and it works well. It not only allows the chicken feed to absorb the seasoning, but it preserves more of the nutrients in the chicken feed. So check this out. It's what my chicken feed look like right now. And so I'm ready to put them in the slow cooker and I'll put them in the slow cooker and just add a little bit of water because the meat will release some juices so you don't want to add too much water to it. 
And the beauty about the slow cooker is when you put your meat in, you can just leave it be for a couple of hours well without fussing about it. And then you can go on and do something else. So that's what I'm doing here now. I'm going to put the meat in and then I'm going to go on and do something else. So I have the meat in. I'll just put a tiny bit of water, but I'll put it in my pan that I seasoned the meat in so I can get the rest of the seasoning that's left in here and I'll pour it on I'll cover the slow cooker and I have it here on high and then just leave it be for a little bit maybe a couple hours I'll check back to see how the chicken feet are doing right I hope you check back with me The chicken feet have been cooking now for about um, an hour and a half or so and they are getting very tender. Check out what's going on in here. We have even some gravy forming already. So what I'm going to do now is just put in some pieces of Irish potatoes along with some more onions. And then I'm going to pour some more hot water in the crock pot. And when the Irish potato is done, then the chicken feet will be done. The chicken feet are almost ready. So I am going to go ahead now and I'm going to add my basmati and lentils to the rice cooker. And so that when the chicken feet are done, we can go ahead and have dinner. And oh, by the way, I still need to steam the broccoli and the carrot. But that will come after the, basmati, the rice is finished because that doesn't take very long to do. So in this bowl, I have two cups of basmati and two cups of basmati and one cup of lentils. Now I like to sneak in grains like lentils or split pea or red pea or wherever I can sneak them in because they are filled with minerals and protein. So that's why I'm adding some lentils to the basmati rice. So I'll go ahead and get it in the slow cooker. The rice cooker. And to the rice cooker, I'll add just a little salt and black pepper and I use pink salt. I'll also add some chopped onions. Then I'll go ahead and pour my three cups of water in. Whereas we pre-cooked like um, dried uh, kidney beans or chili beans, the lentils are fine. They can go in with the basmati rice and by the time the rice is finished cooking, they will also be cooked because they're pretty soft. And then I'll add a little coconut oil. I'll cover it and start. The chicken feet and the rice are ready. And so now I am going to steam.
steam the carrots and the broccoli. I'm just using my little kitchen kitchen Are gadget. Okay, just a few more minutes, then we'll be on the table. <laughs> I'm just using my little gadget here to slice the carrots. No biggie. And I put my carrots in the pot a few minutes ahead of the broccoli just to give them a little time to soften up a bit because they are much harder than the broccoli. Now I don't put a lot of water in the pot. I just put a little bit to cover the bottom. Plus I don't generally put salt in my veggies because I think there's enough salt in the other elements of the dish. While the carrot gets started, I'll go ahead and get the broccoli ready. I have sprayed them down with some vinegar, white vinegar. That is what I use to clean my veggies and my fruit. Check this out. Look at the chicken feet. All finished with onions and Irish potato. Okay, so it's all ready to go. Let's check on the rice. Here is my basmati and lentils. See, you can see that the lentil is well cooked and so is the basmati. That is how we generally check to see if our peas or beans or rice grains are fully cooked in Jamaica. We just take a little and squish it between our fingers. And then when you don't feel any hardness on the inside, that's it. It's ready to be eaten. Okay, so getting back to the carrots and the broccoli. It's time to put the broccoli in. Now usually we put a little butter in our veggies, but I don't like working with too much butter when I'm cooking, so I just sprinkle a little extra virgin olive oil instead of the butter. So just a few more minutes and they'll be done. Now I'll just sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil over the veggies, cover them back, and turn off the burner. Now it's time to share, guys. I'm gonna dish it to the dinner. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Please hit that notification button also so you can be notified of new videos. Comment, like, and share with somebody. All of this helps my channel to grow. I appreciate it immensely. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.